Good day, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Vitaly Stefanyuk, and I'm your host for today's event. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you to explore the exciting and informative topic uh, we have in store. Uh, at our webinar, we aim to provide a platform for learning, discussion, and networking. We are bringing together experts and professionals to share their knowledge and insights on customer experience trends and conversation experience. <coughs> We, uh, whether you are joining us from your office, your home, or from another part of the world, we are delighted to have you here. We understand that your time is valuable, and we appreciate your decision to spend it with us. Uh, we are committed to making this uh, webinar a valuable and memorable experience for all participants. We encourage you to ask questions, engage in discussions, and to make the most out of this opportunity to learn from the best in the business. And thank you again for joining us today. Uh, we hope that uh, you find this webinar informative, engaging, and enjoyable. So uh, let's get started. And uh, let me introduce uh, our speakers, Ksenia Goncharuk, uh, Account Executive at Zendesk, a platform leader in customer service and support. Zendesk provides a complete customer service solution that is easy to use and to scale with businesses need. Xenia uh, will uh, tell us about the customer experience trends uh, uh, that uh, await us in 2023. Hi, Xenia, I'm glad to see you. Hello, hello, good morning, everyone. Next speaker, uh, Vita Ustatyuk, customer experience manager at CloudFresh. Vita will tell us about uh, conversational experience and uh, will show a demo of uh, Zendesk Sunshine conversational pr platform. Uh, Vita, uh, always uh, <coughs> happy to work with you. Say hello to our guests. Yeah, hi, everyone. And uh, I want to introduce you our special guest, Nick Antipov, co-founder I Can Help uh, host a platform that uh, provides free housing in Europe and beyond for Ukrainians who were forced uh, to leave their homes due to the humanitarian crisis uh, caused by Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Hello, Nick. I'm happy that you're with us today. Thank you, Vitaly. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, CloudFresh, for inviting me and making a difference um, for our work. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Okay, uh, before we start, I want to inform you that uh, after the speeches of our speakers, we will play a small quiz and uh, its winners will uh, receive valuable prizes. So uh, don't miss, don't miss uh, this part. Uh, also be active in our chat, ask questions to our speakers, we will definitely answer them. Uh, it seems that uh, we discussed all organizational things. Uh, now let's uh, get to the point. But uh, before giving the floor to our speakers, I want to tell you about our company. Uh, only two minutes, uh, not more. And uh, let's start. Uh, CloudFresh is an international IT service company with years of experience uh, and expertise in digital business transformation, trusted uh, by over 1,000 uh, customers in 50 countries. Uh, we are partners uh, with uh, leading digital solution vendors in the market, such as uh, Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, and uh, GitLab. We resell these products uh, and uh, provide a wide range of professional services around them, such as implementation, integration, development, support, education, audit, and consulting. Companies trust us and uh, we try to thank them with the best service. Um, that's all from my side. Now I want to give uh, the floor to our first speaker, Ksenia Goncharuk, with a presentation, CX Trends 2023. Ksenia, please. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone, one more time. So I'm also delighted to be here. And my name is Ksenia. I'm a senior account executive here at Zendesk. And today, yeah, I'm Delighted to present you our newest CX Trends 2023. So actually, uh, about those trends, um, yeah, Zendesk uh, collect data from 3,700 customers. 
4,800 businesses and also plus our benchmark, which is 99,000, more than 99,000 customers. And based on that, we created uh, our trends. And actually, it has been downloaded, the report has been downloaded 16,000 times. If you haven't done it yet, I highly, highly recommend you to have a look at our reports. And actually, if you are talking about uh, immersive experience, yeah, I will uh, start with overview uh, of five trends, but with a deep, uh, deeper dive in trend number two, it's conversational experience. So, and actually, the shift towards uh, the shift towards immersive experience is uh, has has begun, and it will be important over the next decade. And actually, it's the shift to more fluid, to more natural conversation with your customers, with the companies they do businesses with. And actually, if you are talking um, about your customers, they want to start a conversation on one channel with, let's say, answer bot or chatbot, which is uh, mimic the natural human being and switch to another converse, uh, to another channel seamlessly. And actually, by saying that, uh, immersive customer experience boils to one simple idea. Your customers want to be seen, your customers want to be heard, and your customers don't want to be treated as a ticket or as a transaction. They want to be treated as a high-value customers they are. And actually, business started thinking about new way of how to attract and how to keep the customers. And when we spoke with our customers, it's changed uh, during the pandemic times. And when we spoke with our customers, 70% of the customers who often interact with support with artificial intelligence, they admitted that uh, AI, AI can solve uh, simple questions, but your customers demand it more and more, and they want a really personalized approach from the companies they interact with. And leaders, 68% of leaders, started to rethink about how they can build this road and how they can uh built new entire jo a journey for for the customers and 61 percent of the customers admitted that they would like to spend more with the businesses who provide seamless experience between uh, all points of the contacts so uh, as Zendesk has discovered, there are five trends, uh, distinct trends uh, behind the new standard of immersive customer uh, experience, customer service. And actually, here are the trends. Uh, um, AI experiences are becoming more uh, evolved and seamless. Conversational experiences are empowering customers. Customers are eager for deeper personalization. Customers' well-being and sentiment are reshaping customer trends, customer service, and CX teams are breaking down silos as they are become more integrated. And for this session, we will uh, dive deeper into trends number two, which is conversational experience. And if you are talking next slide, please. If you are talking about conversational experience, when a customers reach out to your company, they want to solve their issues really quick. They don't want to repeat themselves and they want your agents or your support team know everything about the customer. And if the customer want to, wants to switch channel, not that fast Italy, <laughs> switch channel from, let's say, answer bot to phone, it should be really seamless. And important that your customers don't want to be interrupted on what they are doing. So for them, it, it has to feel like a conversation with them somebody who knows them really well, like with your friend, with your family. So in other words, it should be really seamless and it should be friendly and natural. And for example, if your customer just reach out to a company because the customer has a problem with online card, uh, they want to solve the specific issue on this, uh, on, uh, and um, they want assistance, uh, assistance on this page. In other words, they expect the business to resolve their issues on the day they are where they are. It means like WhatsApp, chat, messaging, phone call, uh, and other channels that you can communicate with, uh, with your customers. And frequently, customers has begun, ha have begun to uh, ignore the difference between uh, physical and digital experience, which might, be, which, which might be a bit challenging for the businesses which operate in uh, brick and mortar locations as well as online portals. And we just decided to ask our customers what do they want. And here are the results. 72% of uh, customers want uh, immediate service. 71% of the customers, they expect natural, conversational, friendly experience. 70% uh, of the customers expect everyone they interact with to know everything about them and about their needs. Uh, and 66% want interactions to not interrupt their uh, current actions. 
And of course, 62% uh, uh, of the customers uh, think that experience should be natural and should be really uh, easy to switch between different channels and between physical and digital spaces. And uh, those numbers that I recently presented make a strong case that immersive customer experience, it's not nice to have anymore, it's must have. And then on the other hand, we started to talk with our leaders and 60% of all those leaders we, talk, uh, we spoke with, they affirmed that they intend to implement uh, this uh, sea uh, change uh, in customer service because those leaders know really well how difficult it is to attract and keep the customers. And they realized that customer immersive customer service, immersive, uh, immersive conversa conversational experience is the key way to do business and to attract uh, their customers, to keep their customers and to grow revenue. And you may ask me how businesses can implement those changes. So it's really easy. It's with automation. And automation means that you have to shift the right information about your customers to the right agents at the right time. And businesses should review their KPIs that they measure the customer or agent, sorry, agent efficiency with. And at the same time, they need to train agents uh, to develop their soft skills in order to be, interact with the customers and provide those seamless, really friendly and natural experience, natural conversation. And in the next part, Vita will show us how to do so with Zendesk and with the Sunshine conversation. That's all from me. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ksenia, for such inspiration presentation and so useful insights. Uh, trends are set. Now we need to strive to match them. Uh, yeah, actually, I highly recommend one more time to download the trends report and just uh, see there are much more statistics that might be really useful for your businesses. Oh, great advice. Yeah, Th thank you very much. Dear participants, uh, please download such report. We, we will show you where, where it is. <coughs> Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, I would like to give uh, the floor to our next speaker, Vita Osetiuk. Vita, please, please tell us about uh, conversational experience. What is it and how it works? Yeah, thank you very much, Vitaly. Hi, all. My name is Vita. I'm from CloudFresh company. And today I will speak with you about conversational experience, best practices and experience of our customers so let's start. First of all, um, I, I think that all of you are sure and all of you already felt that customer expectations have changed rapidly in recent years. And for many companies, it's challenging. So what do customers want? I think that it's the main question for a lot of customer care managers and not only them. Answering to this question, I believe that customers are looking for helpful and empathetic agents, always on support. And uh, the third one, it's streamlined conversational experience, no matter who they're talking to, be it a human or a bot. I see from my own experience quite often that Sometimes business leaders underestimate the role of customer support and company. Sometimes I hear that it's not a department that earned the money. And I much agree with it uh, because great customer service can bring you more sales, next purchases, recommendation your company from the customers to their friends, colleagues and uh, acquaintances. And if customer experience was bad at least one time, it's quite high possibility that your customer will not come back and you lose out to competitors. By taking the time needed to understand what great customer service means to your clients, you can make the changes necessary to grow. Before I will deep dive in practical cases, I want to pay your attention to this slide with some statistic. I promise that it will be the last diagram today. Uh, on this slide, you can see that more than a third of companies have already integrated conversational customer service capabilities. And another third say they're actively on their way to making these plans for conversational customer service a reality. I think it's a good statistic. Uh, 
because more than 70% of customers expect a conversational care experience when they engage with companies. And it's not just about Generation Z or millennials that are driving the trend. In fact, more than two thirds of customers have uh, over the age of 40 are also experiencing and uh, expecting and searching for seamless conversational engagement with companies. And I agree with it. And one of the examples, my parents, I remember that a few years ago, they did all purchases only offline. After some time, they upgraded their gadgets. Uh, they uh, started to use new smartphones and they started to make the first steps in uh, online shopping. And firstly, they were communicating with the pre-sales teams of the companies or with the support uh, via traditional channels. Mostly it was by phone, so every time they phone uh, for the company when they need some consultation or when they need to order something. Now, when I speak with my parents, I sometimes think that they are even ahead of me in using uh, new technologies and new uh, trends, messengers and social media. For example, my mom now making a shopping and uh, she contact with the companies via Instagram direct messages and uh, uh, via Facebook Messenger. And for her, it's normal. So sometimes I'm so inspired of them and thinking that they are even uh, ahead of me. So I don't think that uh, these trends uh, are like the trends only for the young generation. I think that this conversational experience now up to date for people of all ages. And uh, following the last slide and story about my parents, uh, we see that customers are more and more switching to social messaging apps when they connect with companies. Requested over uh, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger and regional favorites jumped 36% last year, higher than any other channel. Good news that it's a good time to get on board. Uh, while the focus is currently on adding and integrating with other messaging channels like Apple Business Chat, Google Business Messengers, and other social messaging options like WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger, companies are already looking ahead. Our customers, who is leading players in their industries usually, have already begun using an automated chatbot to respond to repetitive requests. Uh, they allow customers to use self-service on the most common questions and it helping customer support agent to focus on more complex requests. I believe that not a lot of people like routine and agents motivated to work on interesting requests, to feel creativity, to feel and try something new and grow and develop. These our customers also see automatization as a long-term part of their service story. For example, some of the companies now have order tracking API capability inside of Chatbot, what I believe incredibly simplifies the process generally. Yeah, thank you, Vitaly. And as it's written in this slide, even if you have a dream team, it will be hard to success if you don't have the right tools. Only a third of companies are omni-channel, so that means there are still opportunities to offer the channels and experiences that are driving greater loyalty and value. Personalized experience, service over customers' favorite channels, and seamless processes from start to finish are just a few themes on the must-have list now. I know that changes is never easy but it's possible and it's worth it. By using new technologies and making strategic investment in both people and processes, companies can bring a service first mindset across uh, all levels of the business. 
So treat your customers like humans, not tickets, and you will receive the benefits. Some steps cannot directly increase the sales of your products, but it would lead to happier customers. And sometimes the connection between customer support and revenue is straight. One of the examples is retail industry customer uh, who said that on Black Friday, 35% of the conversation on the website requested in cross or upsell. Moreover, this company generally saw that visitors on website who talk to their pre-sales online have a higher value per order when they make a purchase than people who order by themselves on the website. One second. Sorry, open office. Another example, company which wanted to grow and develop their sales and customer service model with great success. A new tagging system, a smart integration with Shopify and plugin uh, for Instagram direct messaging, help their customer care agents to build rich customer profiles and the proactive outreach strategy. The result, 1 million euro in care-based sales. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, one more slide. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, thank you very much. So instead of uh, silent uh, uh, chats uh, that start and stop each time a customer reaches out or switches channel, each interaction becomes part of a larger conversation. The result is a, seam a seamless experience for customer and agents. Companies that are ahead of the customer service have their fingers on the pulse when it comes uh, to the latest trends and technologies. For their customers, this means more channel options, fever headaches, and better experience overall. One of the customer uh, leading football speciality retailer in Iberia, Spain, and Portugal succeed after start of using Zendesk suit and uh, Sunshine Conversation. They achieved their conversational strategy. Now they release a Portuguese AI bot powered by Sunshine Conversation platform to manage the high volume of conversation coming from that market. They told that with Sunshine Conversation in the suit, uh, there is no limit from the technical side on what they can achieve. So they can uh, bring in life the most cre uh, creative ideas. And uh, the last but not least, you probably asking yourself, why do companies and experts uh, choose Zendesk and CloudFresh? There are a lot of reasons because companies are different. But today I'm going to walk you through how Zendesk helps you connect and understand all your customer data, deliver seamless omnichannel support, get started and scale with beautifully simple and intuitive design, innovate quickly to stay ahead with out of the box AI and machine learning tools, measure and improve the entire customer journey with powerful analytics. And of course, customize user experience with open, flexible architecture and APIs. I will show you it today a little bit later in the demo of Zendesk and Sunshine Conversation. I hope uh, you will take some ideas from this demo, how make support of your customers better. And now I'm passing the word to Nick, uh, who will share with you today his experience in a Zendesk. I love their project so much, and uh, I think that they did a great and important things in right time. And I'm happy that CloudFresh and Zendesk solution become part of it. So I'm passing the words to Nick. Thank you. Thank you, Vita. Thank you for... Uh... Thank you very much for this presentation, for highlighting such uh, important topic. And yeah, we will wait your uh, demo part. And let's continue. I would like to give the floor to our next speaker, 
Nick Antipov, as we mentioned before. Uh, Nick, please uh, tell us about your platform and your case. Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah, ne uh, Vita, I also thank you for your presentation. I also believe that trust is built on the foundation of reliable support services. And this is uh, um, my presentation will be about. So uh, my name is Nick Antipov. Um, I'm a project manager uh, specializing in human and LGBTQ plus rights. Uh, I was forced to flee uh, Belarus in 2021 due to the threats to my safety and freedom. Um, and now I'm living as a political exile in Berlin and I continue to support activists in various cities across my country. So, and I'm honored to be here today to advocate for Cloudfresh and share with you the remarkable technology um, that has uh, significantly changed, uh, impacted our lives uh, for the better. So let me tell you about that. So you see on the screen, this is our project, I can help that host. So in response to the uh, ongoing war in Ukraine, I have committed myself to helping Ukrainians find shelter in Europe. So, and I can help that host is a collaborative effort between IT developers and human rights activists worldwide. So we have developed a platform that enables uh, people to offer free accommodation to those in need uh, from Ukraine. Our team primarily composed of refugees, immigrants, um, and yeah, the platform became huge, 13,000 hosts. And we began receiving a variety of messages from hosts and users in multi languages, um, ranging from inquiries on platform usage to specific guidance for individuals, countries. So on the next slide, you can see that initially we utilized Google Groups to manage these communications. However, our uh, volunteers uh, struggled to keep up with the influx of messages. So um, leading to delayed responses. And unfortunately, some messages were uh, overlooked uh, and uh, as volunteer mis uh, volunteers, they mistakenly believed uh, that they had been already addressed. So, and we are deeply grateful uh, to Cloudfresh and especially to Vita, who discovered our platform and uh, generously offered advice um, and various solutions to improve our operations. Through their guidance, we learn about Zendesk and it works like magic. We found that platform was user-friendly and without significant investment and development effort, we allowed to create forms for collecting issues and a knowledge base, for instance, con uh, containing answers for frequently asked questions. Um, yeah, and most importantly, now volunteers were no longer losing track of inquiries and could utilize pre-prepared yeah, pre, um, uh, pre responses for recurring questions, yeah. So consequently, our response times were improved. Uh, yeah, and on the next slide, uh, you can see uh, how we improved uh, our response time, um, which enable us, uh, enabling us to provide timely assistance uh, to those in need. Yeah, we 60% increase our, um, our uh, answer rate, yeah, and we managed a lot of requests daily. It's approximately, it was like 50 or 100 requests per day. So as a result, um, we have created a platform dedicated to offering free accommodation for, for Ukrainians in need. Uh, with over 13,000 hosts, our platform has already helped 3,600 families find their shelter not only in Europe, but in the whole world. So I can help that host is driven by a steadfast dedication to human rights, gender equality, and the inclusion of marginalized and vulnerable people. And we appreciate the incredible support uh, from countless individuals uh, throughout Europe who like us envision a future of peace and democracy and generously opening their hearts and homes. Thank you, Cloudfresh, uh, for supporting our vision and Zendesk 
uh, which uh, they have a pla they have a program. If you are a nonprofit organization as me, they then desk have a pro uh, program like you uh, for you. It calls Tech for Good, uh, and its program supported the cost uh, all the costs on humanitarian basis. And I'm happy to to continue uh, using this technology. Yeah. So thank you so much, and um, yeah, back to Vitaly. Uh, thank you, thank you, Nick, for your story. Uh, you and your team uh, do an excellent job. And uh, personally, I'm very grateful to you for your help to Ukrainian people. Thanks a lot. Oh, and uh, I propose uh, to move on the final stage of our webinar uh, demo session from my colleague Vita. Vita, please show us this magic. Yeah, agreed. Thank you very much, Vitaly. One second, I will share my screen. So please let me know uh, that you see my screen. Vitaly, can you please confirm that all is fine? No, unfortunately. No, you don't see Oh, no, screen. no, sorry, sorry. I, I see. <laughs> I look at another screen. Yeah, yeah, I see it. All good. Thank okay, you. great. Thank you very much, Vitaly. So I can um, go ahead and, um, colleagues, today I will show you uh, not only Zendesk, but combination of Zendesk and Sunshine conversation. I am sure that some customers even who are using Zendesk for years may sometimes maybe not even know about such possibility or not know a lot about it so today i want to highlight it so uh, in zendesk exists one of the also important products which is called sunshine conversation and it can help you to deliver better customer experience and messaging experience faster across of a different channels firstly this solution is easy and modern uh, it also robust, it can make your um, conversation with the customer more interactive and more extensible. So with the help of this solution, you can use more rich message types. Uh, here in this slide, you can see some of them and maybe you can take it as ideas of how to improve your customer support as well. So you can uh, create a different interactive content in chat uh, and in messaging channels with uh, your customers. So you can uh, add some extensions, some links, uh, ask a post back, uh, uh, provide ability for your customer to quick reply to some questions or uh, to integrate also the link and button by now uh, in your uh, chat in uh, Zendesk and in other messengers. You can also use compound messages, this carousel and form. It can make uh, your interactions with the customer, as I told, more interactive, less boring, more interesting, to make it more fresh. And um, also, uh, you are able, with the help of it, uh, to uh, make upsells and cross-sales. Today, I will show you how it will look like. And additionally, I will not show it today because we uh, we will not have a lot of time, but I want also to highlight it that with the help of uh, Sunshine Conversation, you also can connect some your own um, uh, third party solutions. And as you can see here uh, in these screens, in this uh, slide, you are able to integrate some calendar, some ability to book, um, um, for example, for travel, to book uh, uh, travel or accommodation, to book a restaurant reservation or appointment slot to uh, paying or checking uh, the availability of uh, uh, your product or uh, availability of your services. And it's, as I mentioned, it, uh, it can help you more interact with your customers in uh, chat, not only on the website, but to provide the entire process um, of buying or self-service for the customer in the window of chat or uh, conversational channels. 
So let's, let's deep dive and look how it will uh, look like. So firstly, I will share my screen. One second, I will change the language. So uh, before the demo, I prepared some use case. I will show it for you. So um, my name is Vainona in this case, and I am asking for eShop about some help. I found a beautiful bag for my vacation, and um, uh, I would like to buy it, but I didn't saw the size. And I asked the support team to provide it for me. Uh, they did. It didn't, uh, they give this information for me and uh, I answer that, thank you, great. Uh, I will take it, it's what I was looking for. Let's jump and uh, see how it uh, will see the agent from his side. So uh, here you can see that in the middle we have uh, all, all interaction with the customer, uh, all dialogue, also on the right side as the agent, I'm able to see information about uh, this customer, first name, second name, some contact data. You can also bring here some additional information which is important for you. For example, the date of birth of these people or address or country where this uh, person lives in or any other information which is important for you. You can always, oh, uh, sorry, it was not, <laughs> what I wanted to do, uh, but I hope that it will uh, go back. Yeah, thank you very much for these extensions. Uh, also, you can see here all interactions with your customers through different channels. It, what I believe differentiates in desk from other solutions because uh, you are able not only to chat with your customers in different channels, but also to see the history of communication through different channels. So here, from example, we can see that Vainona wrote us not only via WhatsApp, but also via Facebook Messenger and it's separate uh, communication and we can jump on it and we can uh, see what was this communication about, uh, what this person asked from us previously. And uh, maybe it was even with another manager, not us. And we have all this information in one window. So here I can see that this person was asking about, uh, is it possible uh, to make a delivery uh, to Prague? And also this person wrote us via Instagram direct messaging and uh, this conversation I also can see and I can also see that it's new and not assigned to anybody right now. So um, we, I can also take it and um, uh, help this customer as well. So let's uh, look how, it, how we can um, build a richer conversation with a sunshine conversation. So, uh, in this case, I see that um, Vainona <clears throat> told that, um, yeah, thank you very much, all is fine. Um, I will scroll down, yeah, that's what she was looking for. What I can do additionally as the agent, I can use some uh, special uh, Sunshine Conversation messages. Uh, for example, uh, to um, pay attention of Finona that we have now special offer for sunglasses. So, so I just use this macro and click button send. And let's look how will Vinona see it on uh, WhatsApp. So as you can see here, I see few different options of glasses. So I can not only see the information about these glasses with the photos, with links, I can also add it to order or learn more about this information. And in such way, as I mentioned, you can also make a cross sales or up sales. So as the customer, I can say um, like, whoa, I need it. Thank you. Because as we remember, she is going to the vacation, so probably for the back, she also will need the glasses. And then um, what else uh, we as the agent can do? We can also uh, send her uh, additionally one more um, 
template and oh sorry not this uh we can uh send her template with um, uh information that if she will order uh for uh the more than 200 euro she will receive additionally a uh, gift from our company so how she can see it so we can see that I have a message and by the way, also if you order up to 200 euro, you will receive the sunglass kit as a gift and also not only the message and uh, uh, but also the photo and the link uh, to this product. In this case, I can say that great. I will use this opportunity. And what else from the Sunshine Conversation we can uh, do for Vinona? Uh, before I uh, end the conversation, I can also additionally uh, ask her, sorry, not the template, uh, I can also ask her additionally to um, uh, give us a feedback, uh, how uh, she is feeling, are we good or not? So I can send please let us know are we good or not so here i received uh, uh, the message so please rate our conversation i can see that i i can be upset sad good or perfect i'm using that perfect all is fine this information already sent in a zendesk and as the agent i can see it here and at last uh, I can also ask her additionally uh, about will she recommend us uh, to her friends, relatives, colleagues, or somebody else. And uh, Vinona will see this information in a such way that uh, how likely you recommend us to your friends and colleagues. And uh, she can uh, give us a stars like, yes, I will recommend or no, <laughs> one star. Uh, and also, I can see it in a uh, our Zen desk. It's just a few examples how you can do it. Today I did it manually, but also you are able to build a chat bot which will uh, work with the Sunshine conversation, and all these processes will be automatically, not manually, as I uh, show today. But uh, it will bring for your customers more uh, interactive conversation, more personalized uh, offers, and in such way you can deliver greater customer experience and make your customers happier and your business as well. So that's all from my side. I'm passing words to you, Vitaly, again. Yeah, I guess it. Th thank you. Thank you, Vita. Thank you for your, uh, for your demo. I guess it was, uh, I'm sure it was very useful. Uh, practice is, is al always a good thing. Uh, but I, I, I'm sure that uh, our attendees, if our attendees wants to know more about them, they can see more features and how, how they work, they can uh, find you <laughs> and ask. <laughs> Yes, of course, feel free to contact with me and I will be happy to provide you a more deep dive demo and uh, to answer for your questions, of course. Great. Uh, thanks again to our speakers for the presentation. Now uh, let's uh, test our knowledge in a quiz. Uh, the rules uh, are simple. I show a question and four possible answers on the screen. Uh, you have 10 seconds to write the correct answer in our chat, in our Google Meet. And uh, the first person to write the correct answer wins. In total, we have three questions, respectively three winners. Uh, I guess we can start from the first. <clears throat> first question, how many leaders want to implement the conversational experience in customer service. Oh, you, you already know? Great. Uh, yeah, our variants also on the screen. 
I have some music here, but I guess uh, that uh, someone... Let me see. Who was the first? And what the right answer? Yes, 60%. And first was, let me see, Esther. Esther, great. My congratulations. Our team uh, will contact with you or you can uh, write us uh, on email uh, hi at cloudfresh.com and you will give a nice gift i'm sure i don't know what but i'm sure it it will be a good gift okay guys uh, let's move on next question uh, what prepared our team what generation expects to receive conversational experience when they engage with companies? Variants. Generation X, all of them. Generation Z, generation Y. Let's see. I give you 10 seconds. Okay, let's find out the right answer. All of them. Cool, all of them. And who will be, the, who was first? Oh, give me a few seconds. Anna Yordanova. Congratulations, Anna. Great job and great knowledge. And third one, third, third question in our quiz. How many requests per day I can help host team was able to resolve with Zendesk? And uh, our answers, music, okay, 10 seconds. Okay, guys, <laughs> we have current correct answer, and I guess uh, we had we received it uh, before I show variants. Um, but I want to ch choose uh, this one uh, answer from uh, uh, Victor Weiser. One hundred. Yeah, it's true. Congratulations, my congratulations, and I want to remind you, please uh, send a request on our email. Uh, hi at cloudfresh.com but in any case if uh, you log in under um, your real name <laughs> our team uh, will find you and uh, will give you a gift our price uh, thank you thank you uh, thank you guys for um, for participants in this quiz i believe and it, it uh, was interesting and now uh, we can uh, discuss questions which you have to uh, and or which you prepare to our uh, our speakers let's see in our chat give me a minute yes q and a session Let's go to our Q&A session and uh, let's find uh, 
questions. Okay, so good, pretty good uh, conversation we have uh, in our chat. Thank you, Needs, that you uh, already answer for some uh, for some questions. But let's also speak about it. Uh, first question, I guess, to Xenia. Uh, thank you, Xenia. What would you say are their foundation KPIs to achieve what customers expect? Yeah, thank you so, uh, for the question. I already write it down. And actually, if you're talking about KPIs, it's so simple. Again, uh, I can repeat myself over and over again, but it's fast, customizable approach to your customers. And it's first reply time. It's the most important and full resolve time. Another important to make your customers happy. And you may do it with automation. Uh, nowadays, it's like key, uh, key metric and key solution to have to uh, on every businesses. It's like, uh, also it's omnichannel and meet your customers where they are. So, the, but the most important, not to interrupt them and solve the questions as soon as possible. Thank you, Xenia. Thank you for great advice. Okay, let's find the uh, next question from our participants. Uh, Slava Scare asked, in Ukraine, all banks implemented conversational CX many years ago. In Poland, the biggest bank, PKO, still has only email support. I'm always wondering why. Who knows? Colleagues, what's your opinions? What's your minds regarding this question? Why in Ukraine such great uh, customer experience in, in banks? Maybe because some of uh, I know that some of Ukrainian customers also using uh, Zendesk and Sunshine conversation as well, and maybe for the call, as I remember the name of this bank in Poland, maybe they just need uh, to attend our webinar <laughs> and uh, find some new trends. I believe that email no more. Um, no more should be the only one channel for uh, communicate with uh, company. So companies should propose more channels, especially now. Yeah, customers in Ukraine uh, can easily uh, change uh, change uh, banks, <laughs> and uh, banks uh, should uh, sh should uh, increase their uh, level of uh, service, maybe in uh, another country countries, uh, customers more conservative, and uh, if they choose one bank, they will stay with them for all life. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Victor, Victor asked, Vita, how would you make of dealing with a Westly multilingual customer base scalable and still make the experience personal human yeah thank you very much victor for the question uh first of all uh it's if we are talking about self-service it's possible to uh, build based on a zendesk help centers on 40 uh, plus languages so everybody can find answer to their question uh, on their uh, language and secondly in a Zendesk it's also integrated um, solution for translating uh, the request from the customer which is translating the request which we receive and uh, the reply which we give for the customer I can show you it in more details maybe in a some short call after the webinar and I can um, demonstrate how it works, but it's possible uh, with, uh, in a such way to deliver um, for everybody um, great customer experience uh, at their language. Thank you, Vita, for the answer. And uh, uh, one more uh, question to you. Uh, Vita uh, asked, Lauri asked, uh, Vita, is there a possibility to add queuing implementation to Sunshine Conversations so customers know when they will be assisted by an agent? 
if I'm not mistaken, this was a feature in the older version of the Zendesk chat. Um, yeah, I uh, already answered to this question in chat for Lowry. Um, uh, yeah, you're not mistaken. This feature was uh, in the older version of the Zendesk chat, so the customer was able to see a query. Um, about Sunshine conversation, uh, I don't want uh, uh, to say something wrong. That's why I asked if it's possible I will clarify with our technical team, so they know more about functionality and about all settings and after the webinar i will come back with the answer thank you vita uh, i didn't see uh, that you answer in chat sorry <coughs> we also uh, had a question to nick but uh, nick uh, already answered uh, answer uh, this question and let's move on to another questions um, give me a minute. And one more question to Vita. Sebastian asked, Vita, as part of uh, the sales process, how can you ensure that you make the payment step smooth without asking the client to move channel, but ensuring their security? Any recommendations or tools that you can use for fraud prevention? Yeah, great question, Sebastian. Uh, this is what especially uh, uh, Sunshine Conversation can do. So when you have a conversation with the customer, you can provide the ability at that channel where you communicate with the customer uh, to uh, uh, provide for him the link for payment. Uh, without asking him to switch to another uh, maybe pages or to another channels or so on. So it's especially what Sunshine Conversation can do. I even have uh, some uh, short recording uh, of how it looked like in real life. And uh, it, uh, as I remember, uh, the case of some... Um, um, of some uh, online shop uh, uh, which is selling the shoes and uh, after the demonstration I can uh, after this webinar sorry I can send you uh, this uh, link to this recording and you can see how uh, it looked like uh, when it's already integrated but the answer with the sunshine conversation you can do it thank you Vita uh, one more question from uh, Anita is Zendesk plus sunshine a good uh, solution for small companies up to 50, 70 people. I guess a uh, question addressed to Vita and uh, Xenia, if you can comment, please. Yeah, absolutely. Zendesk plus uh, Sunshine uh, is a great solution. Uh, it's one solution, but it's a great solution for all companies, uh, starting from one person to uh, thousands of people. But the only one difference then this is more uh, for manage your tickets for your uh, queries with the customers and sunshine is more about to proactively start the conversation with your customers via different social messaging channels. But yes, the answer is yes, is the great solution. <laughs> Thank you, Xenia, for the answer. Okay. Um, I guess that's all. Uh, there was a question regarding uh, recording of our webinar. Yes, we are recording this webinar uh, now and we'll send a uh, uh, record to all part our participants. And then, thank you. Uh, I guess uh, we don't have uh, uh, questions anymore. Thanks a lot dear guests and dear participants dear speakers for this event i really appreciate and uh, i i liked it <laughs> we we we, uh, uh, we did a good job i <laughs> believe and it really was uh, interesting thanks a lot and have a great day keep in touch love you all <laughs>